Well, the state ordered investigation into Centerpoint underway and their executives on a tight timeline to deliver answers to Governor Abbott uh, by next week. We are now hearing directly from the power company. Today, Centerpoint issuing a public apology over its hurricane barrel response. Our Andy Sirota live in the newsroom this afternoon with all they had to say. Andy? Lisa, today they answered to the Public Utility Commission, which is now looking into the company's response and performance. As a result, they're now promising to do a better job. More than 2 million customers were left in the dark after barrel. Some didn't get power for more than a week, forced to live in dangerously hot conditions inside their homes under sweltering temperatures in the 90s without AC. Many of those who died lost their lives to heat illness. Critics have questioned whether Centerpoint cut corners with maintaining trees around town. With respect to vegetation management, it offers no relief to our customers who experience the anger and frustration with Hurricane Barrel. We recognize the need to move from annual cycles to more targeted technology-based uh, tree trimming. Critics also questioning whether the company was prepared with enough workers and if their resources were on par with industry standards. As we look forward and see the need for continued investment well into the future, it is time to look at bringing more of those resources in-house. Centerpoint CEO Jason Wells agrees his company has to do better. We know we frustrated our uh, critical uh, facility partners with uh, chaotic communication around restoration times, coordination with when they could expect service, coordination with when and if we could provide uh, mobile generation backup. All of that will be immediately streamlined for this uh, hurricane season, and we will continue to uh, improve on preparation for future uh, storm seasons. He also insinuated that he inherited many of the company's problems and has been working to improve Centerpoint's operations. You know, one of the things that I recognized when we stepped in when I stepped in the role last year as COO is that we hadn't fully implemented the national incident management system incident command structure across the company that was an improvement we put in place in 2023 there is still a lot more work we need to do moving forward wells promised better communication with customers and the completion of an outage tracker system that will use the smart meters that were installed in many of our homes the smart meters were useful in our restoration efforts however they were not useful to our customers and for that i apologize Wells also said they will implement ways for customers to report outages that includes photos of damage so that they can prioritize work for areas where the line's down and are posing safety hazards.